Hey everyone, this is David from thejsguy.com and today I want to do a walkthrough of converting an Ember app to using Fastboot. Now if you haven't heard about Fastboot, there's a great video by Tom Dale about it on the Ember CLI Fastboot GitHub repo, so I recommend you watch that video. So I have a really simple Ember application. I just display a list of artists from an API. If you're curious about what that API looks like, here it is. So I've set up a really simple Ember application where in the model hook of the application route, I fetch all the artists from that endpoint and I display that on the application template in a component called artist list. That model gets passed in as the artist parameter and inside the artist list template, I just simply loop over artists and I've created a computed property that kind of sorts out all the artists. So it's called sorted artists. And you can see what that looks like inside the artist list component. I'm just simply sorting them by the artist name. And like I said, I display each one inside an artist item component. And that simply takes a single artist and it just displays the artist name. Let's convert this to using Fastboot. The first thing that we have to do is install Ember CLI Fastboot. Once we installed Fastboot, I need to restart Ember server. And if we look at our application, we can still see it running as normal. So to run Fastboot, we can use the Ember Fastboot command. And this will basically run our Ember application on the server and do our server side rendering. We can access our Fastboot instance using port 3000. So the reason we're getting this internal server error is because Node has no way of running $.getJSON. Looking back at our application, we're trying to make an Ajax call inside of the node environment, which doesn't exist. So to handle this, we can use another add-on called Ember Network. And what this does is it uses the fetch API in the browser, and then inside the node environment, it will use the HTTP module. Let's go ahead and install Ember Network. I'm gonna stop Fastboot. And we'll say Ember install Ember Network. So Ember Network polyfills the native fetch API in the browser. So you can think of this like the successor to XML HTTP request. So we're using the fetch function to hit the same API endpoint. And what this resolves with is a response object. So there's a, an actual class inside, um, inside the browser called response. And on the response object, we can actually read out the JSON data using the JSON method. And this basically reads it out and returns a promise that results with that JSON data. So that's why we're gonna chain on another then call and just return the artist off of this response, which is a promise. So if we go back to our browser, we can still see it working, but this time it's using the fetch API. Let's try running this again using Ember Fastboot. We'll run Ember Fastboot. We'll go back to port 3000 and we can see it running if we view the page source, we can see that we're actually getting server-side rendering for all of our artists. How cool is that? So what if you're using Ember data instead of playing Ajax calls? The great thing about Ember data is that it just works seamlessly with Ember Fastboot. I'm gonna convert this Ajax call to using Ember data instead. So I commented out our fetch call and I changed it to using Ember data. So we're gonna find all artists. I set up an application adapter just using the JSON API adapter, specified the host. And I also specified a serializer, which our API endpoint matches the REST serializer format. Then I've created a simple model with just one property, artist name. We're gonna go back and try and run Ember Fastboot. And if we view this in the browser, we can see everything's working and we can view the page source and we can still see everything being server-side rendered. So that's really all there is to it. If your application is just using plain AJS calls, switch that over to using Ember Network and everything should work seamlessly. If you're using Ember Data, all you really have to do is install Ember Fastboot and you're ready to go. It's that easy.